Revenge is a dish best served cold. But you know what else cold is good for? Conducting electricity. Electric Cat is gonna tell us why. Hi everyone, this is electrical engineer Kat Echeserreta and today we're going to talk about electricity in outer space. Right now, I'm working on NASA's mission, Europa Clipper. This mission is going to send a spacecraft to Jupiter to investigate its icy moon, Europa. Scientists have observed the possibility of a liquid ocean beneath the icy crust of this moon. Where there's water, the potential for life to develop exists. So we wanna go check it out. It's my job to make sure that all of the electronics aboard the spacecraft function properly. The temperatures that our spacecraft can be exposed to are extreme. The outside of the International Space Station can have temperature ranging from 250 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing the sun and negative 250 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing away from the sun. These changes in temperature can affect something called resistance, which is a big deal for the engineers designing mission critical spacecraft electronics. So I'm going to show you just that. Remember, don't do this at home. I'm a professional trained in electrical safety. Now, I've already gone ahead and removed the top part of this light bulb because the filament is what we're going to be using to heat it up to see the effects on the circuit. First, we have our battery, our small bulb. Current is going to flow through this filament back to the battery. When I screw in this filament, we're going to see this small bulb light up. That is going to signal to us that we have completed and closed up the circuit. And there we have it. I'm going to apply this flame right onto the filament. I want you to pay very close attention to this small bulb right here. The effect is pretty quick and clear. As soon as I remove it, watch what happens. It goes right back. I have a really cool device that's actually going to allow us to measure the current. We have about 0.07 amps. Now let's see what happens when we add the heat into the mix. There we see it lowering 0.05, 0.04 amps. And when I remove the flame, it's going to go right back along with the bulb brightening up again. The heat is raising the resistance, which is then lowering the current we saw the brightness decrease, and then we saw it with the multimeter. Lowering the brightness as much as it did with this lamp, imagine what it could do to a more important circuit. So spacecraft have to be designed to handle the effects of extreme heat. But what happens to circuits under extreme cold? Let's see what happens when I cool down this circuit with some dry ice. I have my dry ice ready. I'm going to hover it over the filament and I'm going to fan as hard as I can. We'll see what happens to that little bulb. There it is. Do you see how it gets brighter? By cooling down this filament, we're lowering the resistance of this component. And by lowering the resistance, we're raising the current in our circuit. That is why our lamp gets brighter. We can see that the current is at 0.05 amps. I'm putting my dry ice over and fanning once again. Fanning, we're going up to 0.07 and that got brighter. Now I'm gonna take it off. We're at 0.07 and this dims once again. There you have it. Temperature can affect resistance. Resistance can affect the flow of electricity in our circuit. And that is what was causing our little light to either brighten or dim. Thank you for joining me. I'm Electric Cat, and you are all caught up on current affairs. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.